Hair butters and pomades are some of the easiest hair products to make at home. And the best part is, you only need four ingredients. Hi guys, welcome to Whole Elise. I'm Elise and we've made it to 50,000 subscribers. Honestly, I can't thank you guys enough. It's incredible how many of you have been trying out homemade products, sharing it with friends and family, and I'm just genuinely overjoyed. I can't thank you guys enough for all of your support, but I don't want to keep you waiting. So here's how to make your own hair butters and pomades. Hair pomades are the ultimate all-purpose styler. Not only are they great for sealing in moisture and adding shine, but you can also use this as a scalp rub to style your edges. They're great for whenever you need extra hold like with updos or sleek ponytails. And they're also really popular for men's hair styling. To make our hair pomade, start by measuring out vegetable butter as your base. I'm using mango butter, which will give our pomade a soft, creamier consistency than regular balms. You can substitute this with shea, cocoa or any other butter you prefer. Next, measure out your oils. I'm using a combination of olive and castor oil as they're great for conditioning, softening and providing lasting moisture to textured kinky hair. Castor oil also promotes hair growth and provides shine and definition. You could also use coconut oil for its hair strengthening properties or any lighter oil that suits your hair's needs. Again, the oils are completely customizable. And to keep this recipe simple, you could just use one. If you're combining oils, make sure that they're thoroughly mixed together. To finish off the hair pomade base, you'll also need a wax. This is what gives our pomade hold, making it great for styling hair. I'm using beeswax because it's a soft wax that's readily available. But you could also use vegan waxes or any alternatives. All of the ingredients, measurements and tips on how to use hair butters and pomades can be found on my website wholeelise.com. I also include links to where I purchase ingredients, so make sure you check that out by clicking the eye icon above or following the links in the description. Most hair products are actually unisex, so I don't usually call out men's hair styling in particular, but seeing as pomades are one of the main products used in men's hair styling, you should definitely give this recipe a try. To make your pomades, combine the mango butter, beeswax, olive and castor oil in a heatproof bowl. Vegetable butters react to high heat, which can leave them with a gritty or grainy texture. To avoid this, you always want to melt them using a low, gentle heat, such as with a double boiler or bain-marie. Waxes take forever to melt, so every now and then, stir the mixture to help speed up the melting process. Once your pomade is completely liquid, remove from the heat and set on a flat surface to cool slightly. Our hair pomade doesn't contain any water, so you won't need to add a preservative. However, you do still need to use an antioxidant like vitamin E to prevent it from turning rancid. Add one gram of vitamin E to your pomade when it's cool but still completely liquid. The next step is completely optional, but if you'd like your pomade to have a fragrance, you can use a couple drops of any essential oil. This mixture will set really quickly, so now's not the time to take a break. As soon as you've mixed in your vitamin E and essential oils, pour the pomade into an airtight container and leave on a flat surface until solidified. Once it's set, it should have this ultra smooth, firm consistency. Even though it's set, all you'll need to do is apply a little pressure and the pomade will scoop out easily. None of that hard as rock stuff here. And because of the mango butter, it has this soft creamy consistency when it melts between your fingers. Perfect for applying to your hair and providing hold. Pomades have a completely different texture to hair butters. Hair butters are softer and don't contain wax, so they melt into a complete liquid making it easier to work into your hair. You can see that the hair butter melts on contact, whereas the pomades do soften but resemble more of a balm than oil. We can also use the same mango butter to make hair butter. I'm measuring out that along with cocoa butter. Cocoa butter is much firmer, appearing completely solid at room temperature. It provides stability to the hair butter without having to use wax. Cocoa butter also works as a sealant, trapping moisture into your hair to prevent it drying out throughout the day. 
Again, for more information on these recipes, along with how to scale and where to buy ingredients, click the link above or visit wholeelise.com. For the oils, I'm using the same combination of olive and castor oils as in the hair pomade. Both oils are intensive moisturisers that work really well with tight curls and thick hair. But if you're not a fan of heavier hair products, I'd recommend using grapeseed, almond or coconut oil which are lighter. Make sure that they're completely mixed together before moving on to the next step. This hair butter formula is completely customizable. You can easily swap out any of the oils and butters that I use in this recipe for your favorites and it will still work. Like before, we'll need to melt our hair butter ingredients in order to combine them together. In a heatproof bowl, add the mango butter, cocoa butter and oils. Melt over a low heat. This shouldn't take as long as the pomade as there's no wax. And then once liquid, transfer to a flat surface. Once it's cooled slightly, add in your vitamin E as an antioxidant and any fragrances you'd like. Mix until all the ingredients are fully incorporated and at this stage you can decide the texture of your hair butter. For a smooth, thick butter that melts into your hair, pour the still liquid hair butter directly into the container and allow it to set in the fridge for at least 6 hours. When it's done, it should look similar to hair pomade, but don't be fooled. It has a completely different texture. And of course, if you did want a lighter texture, you could turn this into a whipped butter. For a whipped hair butter, the process is exactly the same as when making whipped body butters. Allow it to firm up in the fridge until it has a semi-set trace consistency. At this point, we can begin incorporating air into our hair butter, by alternating between whisking and setting it in the fridge until it resembles whipped cream. For a more thorough tutorial, click the eye icon above for my whipped body butter tutorial. Even though they have different textures, both a conventional and whipped hair butter will work amazingly in your hair, so it's completely up to personal preference which one you choose. Hair butters have a much lower melting point than pomades, so as soon as they come into contact with your body heat, they immediately melt into a spreadable oil that coats your strands and provides shine and moisture. This hair butter is a great finishing product that seals your hair and works well for locks, braids, twist out, buns and wash and goes. So whether you're just dipping your toe into making your own hair care products or you want something quick and easy for the whole family to use, hair butters and pomades are great products to make at home and they're far more affordable than buying them. For more information on these recipes, check out holalise.com and subscribe for even more hair and skincare tutorials. I just wanted to thank you again for supporting my channel. I love seeing this community grow and how we're moving to be more self-sufficient when it comes to what we use on our hair and skin.